they slide a piece of paper under your door, under your cell rather. And it says first degree reckless homicide, man's degree intentional homicide. Intentional homicide. Yes. Mandatory life. Mandatory life sentence, yeah. Are we talking a letter, life, or are we talking 20 to life at that point? No, we talking life. The rest of your natural life. Before we get into what you were thinking at that moment, I want to take a second here. And I want to, because I don't know who's going to listen to this. And I don't know who's going to watch it. I had a brother who lost his life in the streets. So there's always the other side. And I understand that the first law of the land is self-preservation. You thinking about you, damn, my life is over. Do you know anything about the victim? Had you ever seen the victim before that night? Was there ever a time while you're sitting there that you're thinking a human being just lost their life? Or is it all focused on you at this moment? Um, absolutely not. I think that um, that's probably the part that weighed on me most, even before I got to me, is when I seen homicide. That means somebody had died. And I never, in, a, in my 24 years of existence, never even dreamed, never even thought of somebody's going to die because of you. I would be the one that would, would save somebody. If you ask anybody in my neighborhood, they would tell you, oh, if you see Ed, Ed would save you before he killed you. That is not, that, that wasn't even in my wheelhouse. But once again, entering into these streets, uh, my grandma and other uh, older people in my life at the time would say, don't let your heart get hard. So my heart got harder. The reality of it all was, I never seen myself as being somebody that was capable of taking a life. But when I look back on it, I see the transformation and I see the difference in the person who I was at the beginning of getting involved in this life to the person that I was towards the end of this time. So now I look at this situation and I say, man, it's a man that's not here anymore. So at that point, I felt so bad that I was ready just to throw in the towel. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.